Time 106 with OMD, Forever Live and Die. It's 708. Good morning, I'm Don Stevens. Did you know that today is Australia Day? Really? Yes, it is. The British settled on that island, or continent, I guess, 199 years ago today. First, they sent all their criminals to settle the place, and the next thing you know... You've got the Bee Gees, Men at Work, Little River Band, Helen Reddy, not to mention Qantas Airlines, a tennis tournament, and the number one movie of the year, Crocodile Dundee, and they've got the nerve, they've got the nerve, those Aussies, haven't they? Uh -huh, I'll tell you. They do. Yeah, we're spending our money buying those records, going to the movies. Uh, they're doing really well. Uh, speaking of movies, one of the biggest actors of all was born 62 years ago today in Cleveland, Ohio, Paul Newman. Just had a big movie this year, matter of fact, Color of Money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And ten years ago today, the number one song on the charts was from a movie. You might not ever get rich. But let me tell you, it's better than digging a ditch. Ooh, it's a classic, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just singing this in the shower the other day. Were you really? I was, yeah. 1977 for that. If you know the song in the group, call me now. 24-23-106. I have something something you can use. Ooh. And I'll take the sixth caller. I'm Vicki Chase from the AM 106 Traffic Report. The only traffic in the city this morning is some very light building trends westbound on 17th at 26th Street and then McLeod and Anderson starting to build through there. But if you're heading into the city using Highway 2A this morning, an area of that highway has been closed off around Balzac, that due to the police investigation that John had on his news. Next AM 106 Traffic Update, 738. <laughs> All right, let's go back 10 years. The number one song. You might not ever get rich. It's from a movie. Well, let me tell you, it's better than digging a ditch. And funny enough, the name of the movie and the song are the same. Get out of here. I wouldn't kid about a thing like this. 1977. Hi, who's on the phone? Uh, Dan. Okay, Dan, where are you calling from? Uh, Southeast. Okay, what do you think it is? It's Car Wash by Rose Royce. Rose Royce? Yeah. Did you say Rose Royce Car Wash? Yep. You just won $106 cash. All right. All right. Great stuff. Good for you. Okay. Thanks. All right. Here it is. Here's the song. Rose Royce Car Wash on AM 106. And the ball Dan Barnes, I won $106 on AM 106. All right. Come on, y'all. Next hour, we got Moody Blues tickets to give away. It's 7.15. If you have no plans to go to work today and skiing seems to be a better alternative, then listen right here next for the Ski Report. It's 7.20. And this is Cindy Lopper on AM 106. AM 106. Cindy Lauper and true colors. Well, what is her true color? You know her hair color? I don't know. Actually, I don't think it was born. Uh, she was born with green hair. I'm positive. I think she's a brunette. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Do. She's a cutie. Yeah. yeah. It's got a good album. Seven twenty three. Good morning. I'm Don Stevens, and here's Scott Thompson with the ski report. There's been a bit of snow in the hills overnight. If you're heading up, Sunshine Village picked up six new centimeters overnight. You can call the ski line at two four six twelve eleven for all the latest ski conditions. We'll have the next update this morning at eight twenty three. Come. I'm John Brenner, AM 106 News at 725. A Calgary RCMP officer was murdered while on duty this morning. 35-year-old Constable Gordon Kowalsik was patrolling for a suspect vehicle wanted in connection with theft of gas from a service station. Calgary weather. This balmy stuff will continue. Cloudy today with highs to 5. Cloudy again tonight. Lows minus 6. Cloudy again tomorrow. High to 3. Right now in Lethbridge at 0 and in Calgary minus 1. Calgary's old hit. 30. Good morning, I'm Dan Stevens with Steve Winwood. Our designated hit today is Sam of Robbie Neville. When you hear that song, be the 10th caller in. You'll be our first winner this morning. We'll also make you eligible for that trip to New York to see Paul Young in concert. Be listening. 734. I'm Dan Stevens, and this is Benjamin Orr on AM 106. AM 106 says Benjamin Orr and stay the night. 738. Good morning. I'm Dan Stevens. This is Monday. 
Um, there's a new service out, and I was just noticing here. I think we should give this a call. Uh, it's, um, what is it called? Soap Talk. Mm-hmm. Okay? Now, if you're a soap opera fan and you want to know what's going on in the show, say you've missed it for a little while, you want to know what's coming up this week, you can call a number, and uh, it's area code 410. What would that be? New York or... Well, I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, what they'll do is each day there's a different soap opera on this line. And, uh, you know, they start to give you the plot. And, you know, and one of the stars actually does it. Now, this is the exciting part. Yeah, this is exciting. Uh, <laughs> yes, boys. Yeah, this is exciting. Uh, <laughs> now, today, all my children uh, is uh, what they're going to be talking about. Uh, tomorrow will be loving. I don't know that one. Uh, one Life to Live is Wednesday. Ryan's Hope on Thursday. And General Hospital on Friday. Ooh. Now, I plan on calling these every day. Okay. I want to find out what's going on. I've been, you know, we're working. You don't know what's going on with the soap opera. So let's go. It's, uh, it's 900-1900-410 soap. Okay. Let's dial that one. thing. Okay. okay. Here we go. Uh, pretty nifty dialing. Here we go. Let's find out. It's Erica should be on the phone here. Hi, it's Erica Kane from All My Children. I'm going to make Travis Montgomery and Erica Kane the number one couple in America to watch. And you just see if I don't. Bye. Ooh. Erica. Yeah. Wow. That's, how could you miss that? I'm gushing. Gushing. <laughs> Boy, Cupcake, you did a great job, I'll tell you. So that's uh, that's Erica from All My Children. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to hear Loving. Anyway, that number, if you want to call it, yeah. is uh, 1-900-410-SOAP. It's the new soap line, and uh, that's just about the most exciting thing since, uh, I don't know. Those uh, dirty ones you call. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I would never do Let's that. call one of those. No. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Scott, <laughs> behave yourself. I'm well, Vicki Chase from the AM 106 Traffic Report. Next traffic update, 808. More than you came for. Glenn Flingerland plays Rock Jeopardy this afternoon at 3.52 and 4.52. If you know your hits, then listen to win. This is not easy contest. No. It's fun, though. Yep. Here's I.I. at 748 on AM 106. AM 106 with I.I. out on a limb, 752. Good morning, I'm Don Stevens. How are you guys today? Pretty good. Scott's Pretty good. here, Joe's here. You have a good weekend up there skiing, Fairmont, having a good time? Yeah, great, great, weekend. Yeah. great weekend. I was I was being nursed Don this weekend. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I had a sick lady at home. Oh, no. Even the dog threw up. <laughs> it was just one of those kind of weekends. But it's good to be with you guys and your smiling faces and half-closed eyes. Yeah. Here's Joe Mullen. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed that, Don. <laughs> Actually, we left the mountains early yesterday, wanted to get back in time for the Super Bowl game, and we heard that everybody was sick at your place. We were going to lend a helping hand, but yeah, sure. you know how it is. Yeah, I know. One thing led to another, and we left a little late. We got home just in time to catch the halftime show. The score was 10-9, so I'm thinking, all right, at last, a Super Bowl game that maybe isn't a blowout, right? Right. By the time the TV warmed up, the Giants had scored 10 points, and it was business as usual. But you have to wonder if anyone could have beat the Giants the way Phil Sims was throwing the ball. You know, he completed 22 of 25 passes. That's an 88% wow. average. Yep. Amazing. Another good thing was Pat Summerall. He was the play-by-play man for CBS, and he's the best there is. One of the things that makes him the best is that he doesn't comment on every play. Remember the Grey Cup? We had to listen to Pat Marsden. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and the halftime show uh, at Grey Cup is good, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you know? There were tens of people on the field. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this Grey yeah. Cup and a Tilden rent-a-car going around. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yummy. Yeah. It kind of pales in comparison, doesn't it? It does. The best line of the whole broadcast? John Madden asking the question that was on everyone's lips, how does sweat sound in stereo? Yeah. <laughs> or doing the diagram as to how, the, how they're going to dump it on Parcells. Yeah, yeah but the, what was it? Uh, the daddy, uh, mummy and daddy. Uh, yeah, that's right. And they had a Gatorade, little baby. Little Gatorade, baby yeah. Gatorade. Yeah. 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 Next hour, we'll be back with some more stuff. Maybe we'll talk to an Australian. I'm John Brenner with a 106 second update at 7.55. A Calgary RCMP officer was shot to death early this morning when he stopped a truck on Highway 2 way just north of the International Airport. The Chinook stuff continues. Cloud for today, highs to 5 degrees. Cloudy again tonight, lows down to minus 6. Tuesday, cloudy again with a high to 3. Right now in Medicine Hat, it's plus 1. And in Calgary, it's minus 1. All hit 7.57, I'm Dan Stevens, and this is Chicago. It's 8 o'clock. Good morning. I'm Don Stevens, and coming up this hour, listen for hits from Belinda Carlisle, Human League, Billy Vera, and the all-hit classic quiz from 1974. All-hit, 